Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create points in Civil 3D. As a very brief introduction, we use points to create other Civil 3D uh, elements such as surfaces, alignments. Also, we use points to represent other drawing elements such as uh, trees, fire hydrants, tea pits, and so on and so forth. All right, let's go straight into creating some points. So you can use the home tab and create ground data panel here and there's a points button you can click on that and go uh, click on this point creation tool also you can uh, at the prospector tab at the tool space you can see points point groups and here at the points you can right click and go create <coughs> it brings the same create points tool toolbar here I just simply go here click on that point creation tool then at the first button miscellaneous manual you can click on that and notice that uh, command prompt command bar right here it says please specify a location for the new point when you move this your crosshair around you can see the coordinates they are changing dynamically the first number as a standard is as easting also this x coordinate if you can uh, if you refer that with AutoCAD and the second one the y coordinate as we call it northern so usually you have numbers to enter these coordinates so as an example I'm going to type uh, just say uh, 3200 as my easting you can press comma O tab key to switch on to the next one so I'm gonna enter 5000 here when you press enter the next thing what they want enter point description so I'm gonna type capital T R here uh, you uh, I'm gonna show you uh, next why did I do that press enter so the last thing they want from us is the elevation because all these points in civil 3d they're they're referring to ground survey data so they also come up with come with the uh, elevation information so let's have uh, 450 meters as my elevation so when I press enter that's it that point is created now it it keeps going until I uh, close this toolbar or press escape it's now asking uh, coordinates for the second one so I press escape and close this so I can see my point is created here so just say you can't see it anywhere so as I explained in my previous tutorial about the introduction so uh, every time you have some data on this work area the tool space is dynamically updated so notice at uh, my points in front of my points label there's a black dot that means I got some data already in here right uh, below below the tool space I have as that in the list format so if I right click on it and go zoom to so it's zooming to my uh, the point I created ha uh, look at this so I'm gonna explain you a little bit about this anatomy of this point descript uh, in the in the in the civil 3d so this uh, what we call this marker in civil 3d you have this because this TR actually that represent a tree that's why this is a marker set up for tree so I'm going to show you next uh, pretty soon on that the first one on the very at the very top that is the point number the next one is the elevation at the bottom you have the point description like that okay so about this TR the labeling so that all decided here you can see point styles so if you look at TR tree double click on it and you can change how it's gonna look so if I say that is a, a tree so if I change it to here and apply there you go that's changed dynamically 
and uh, I go cancel uh, the other thing I want to talk about so that's that's how creating points manually so if I create another point without giving any uh, meaningful label so I just just click any way I want and I give a point description just a enter uh, elevation I give 300 so that is the standard marker and it does not come come with any uh, labels because if you look at this again I'm going to this settings here and what decides which uh, which uh, type of uh, what do you call uh, style is gonna get this uh, information is decided by this description key sets so when you expand this let me go edit keys so notice I got only three entries here so at the bottom we got this TR so that means every time I enter TR anything at this time means you can have any other character behind it when you have TR it's gonna recognize as a tree and the point label style is already decided and it's gonna make a label like that right so the other way of creating points is going through uh, using a point list usually when surveyors are doing their job in the in the field they collect all their data in a uh, point format uh, in, the, in the Excel sheet sort of thing so I go here point creation tool now I'm gonna import points so click on this button so now it's bringing up this import point import points uh, dialog box here so I go press this plus button now it's gonna go ask me to browse the files so I'm gonna find this one alright so one thing you wanna the most important thing here what to do uh, deciding the file format so what is a file format you can see here pensed comma delimited with this means is the order of the columns so what this means point number easting northing is it means elevation and the description so if I give a brief explanation on that too, point file formats, there are different file formats available depending on your application or your standards, uh, your company or who you, who you follow. Uh, what this letters stand for P, point number, E, easting and northing, <coughs> Z or Z, elevation, D is a point description. So your file files your excel sheet will have a certain order how they are arranged so you gotta make sure that mess matching with the <coughs> selection you pick here so in my my case is uh, point number elevation nothing uh, sorry point number easting nothing elevation description and it's gonna give you a uh, a quick uh, preview here green tick just say ok and now my points must be added somewhere okay so there they are so those are the points I added now if you look at this uh, let's go back to the prospector now my points table is populated now it has multiple like 300 points in it and even here something I want to show in this table you can sort them so when you click on this title uh, of the column you click once it's gonna uh, sort them uh, you know ascending or descending so you can filter them uh, eastmost westmost uh, north what are the points towards the north side and the highest ones this is very useful when you're trying to figure out the points uh, what are the highest ones depending on the application so when you click on that it's going to show you the highest elevation points when you click on that it's going to ascend it <coughs> it's going to order them ascending uh, that is those are the ways of creating points either by manually or through a file so uh, in my next tut tutorial I'm going to sh uh, show you how to use these for other applications such as creating surfaces and things okay thank you very much